Okay, we're at the end again with our second um, straight stitch. We're going to just back it up. Again, raise your press your foot, raise your needle. Cut off towards the back. It just helps to keep those threads in check. I usually pull them a little bit. I don't know if you can see how long this is. It's about, let's see, about six or about eight inches. About eight inches long. What I do is I just I hold it, pull it, and I just kind of drop it off the back. That way we know where it is. Now what we're going to do, get rid of that. Get, clean this up a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this inside and make our seam. I do have a little bump here. It's okay. It's where the fabric just uh, didn't meet. Um, it was a little longer one side to the other. Okay, we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, we're going to push away our side seam. We're going to work on, this is the hem. We're going to go ahead and put our foot down, put our needle thread underneath. Make sure that the neat, that foot is tight by checking the screw. Okay, we'll go a couple forward, a few back. That's a few more. But remember, we're going to use the Gina Majig to let's see if I can get this while you're, my arm's in the way. I put it up too high. Okay, so we're going to use the Gina Majig. We're going to lift, keep the needle down. Lift the foot, slide the Gina Majig underneath, touching the seam, moving it over so that there's place for it to sit, for it to sew, dropping the foot, and we're gonna go slowly up and on top of that difficult piece. When we hit where the machine doesn't seem to be um, to be going, I want you to put your hand on the the wheel. I think they call it the flywheel, I'm not sure. And just as you go, give it a little, if it sticks, give it a little turn. Okay, we've gone over it, stop it, put the Gina Majig back to the front, try to straighten it out as much as possible. It's kind of going to be wonky. If this was some professional thing, I would be a little more leery of it, but I'm not really worried right now. Go ahead and stitch a couple stitches. Again, moving it out when you need to. Okay, now we're going to lift our, drop our needle all the way, lift our presser foot, move out the Gina Majig. We're going to need it again, so don't put it too far away. And then continue your seam to where it meets. Back it up to make sure it's it's nice and and uh, caught real good, so I'm stitched real good. Okay, again stitch. Take your threads. Make sure the needle thread is through the foot and you're putting it off to the back. Okay, we're going to do one more stitch. Like I said, it looks kind of yucky. I apologize for that. If it was a little easier fabric and if we had an industrial machine, it would look much better. But it is what it is and it's okay. We're going to go ahead and catch that like we did before. Make sure those threads are back. We're going to come up to the same spot where it's going to get difficult. Drop your needle. Lift up your presser foot. Put the Gina Majig underneath. Touching the seam. Drop your presser foot and slowly you're going to go over top. If Again, if it gets sticky or stops, just give it a, a little twist with the flywheel. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. Needles down, lift up presser foot, slide in Gina Majig. This one's actually not a Gina Majig. I just realized this is an Oxmoor House point turner. So they're using the point. We're actually using the buttonhole thing as a Gina Majig. So I don't actually know where my Gina Majig is. But you can see what I'm saying. Okay, we've covered, we've completely um, gone past the hump. 
of the material. I'm going to drop the foot and again resume the stitching. Secure it with a back stitch. And that's it. We're done.